My name's J.R. Havlin. I'm an amateur poker player, and I did what every amateur poker player dreams of doing. I won a seat to the World Series of Poker. Oh, and I plan on winning it. We're gonna win it all! First off, I'm an unlikely candidate. I'm a comedy writer, not a poker player. The two have nothing in common, except that we're all degenerates. I wrote for The Daily Show with Jon Stewart for 18 years, where I won eight Emmys. You want one? Now I write for The Tonight Show with Jimmy Fallon. It's a pretty good job, if you can get it. So how did I win a seat to the World Series of Poker? So here's what happened. I met a guy at a thing. It was in a place, just trust me. And this guy invited me to a charity poker tournament. It was for this organization called Streetwise Partners. They provide resources and personal guidance for career training to people in need. Look it up. Anyway, he tells me John Starks and Alexei Kovalev are going to be sitting at our table. So I'm like, sign me up. So I go to this thing. There are like 250 players at the start. I'm playing really well. Next thing you know, there's 200, 150, 100. I think you're starting to see the trend here, right? Cut to the final table and I'm at it. And the guy who invited me to the thing is at it too. How unlikely is that? I knock a guy out. He knocks a guy out. Now, the last two players at this tournament are me and the guy who invited me to the tournament. So now we're playing heads up. Two guys sitting at the table, that's it. This is just a classic hedge fund guy. Tan in January, probably owns a boat, and he's been to the World Series twice already. He probably has a seat to this one. So before we start playing, he says to me, I'll give you the seat, but I need something out of it. So I get down on my knees, we strike a deal. He gets a percentage of everything I win. I don't know what he's gonna get out of that. I get the $10,000 seat to the World Series of Poker. By the way, second place was a $200 gift certificate to a steakhouse. And we had to play it out anyway, and guess who won heads up? He did. A Couple of weeks later, another hedge fund guy, don't ask me how I keep meeting these guys, invites me to another charity poker tournament. This one's for an organization called Hillel. Turns out it's a Jewish organization. Maybe this guy thought I was Jewish. I'm not, who gives a shit? I wanted to play poker. So I go to this thing, and out of over 200 players, I still came in 11th. Keep in mind, I'm not a beginner. I, I can play poker. I'm just not a pro. But from the looks of most of these guys, I don't think I want to be. I've been playing No Limit Hold'em for six or seven years, very sparingly. I've played like in 15 tournaments down in Atlantic City, but I've done really, really well in them. I've come in the money in at least half of them, came in second place in one of them. I actually won one of them, just me. I was the last guy at the table. Not bad for a comedy writer. So how to prepare for the biggest tournament in the world? Good question, thanks for asking. I start reading books. Tips for No Limit Hold'em Poker by Barry Shulman. Thinnest one I could find. I just wanted to get through one, so I bought it. Harrington on Hold'em, because you're supposed to. And then, just because I was reading so much, zero poker advice. But what I really needed was to actually play poker. So I headed down to Atlantic City to play a few tournaments at the Borgata. There it is. The Borgata, no, sorry. Oh, uh, Borg Borgata's over there. On my way down, I listened to a book on tape, Strategies for Beating Small Stakes Poker Tournaments by Jonathan Little. I'm not really understanding that much of it. I get down there, I play in my first tournament. It doesn't go that well. I was aggressive and impatient, sort of like with sex. And that's not good for either one of those things. So I go back to my room, I study a little bit, I get up the next day and head down for two more tournaments. First is the 11 o'clock. 60 plus players, I'm doing well. Next thing you know, final table. I come in sixth place at that one, sixth place. I win a little bit of money, head back upstairs, get in a nap, get something to eat, come back down for the seven o'clock tournament. Now I'm playing even better, I'm even more focused. Eight hours later, I'm at the final table again. One day, two tournaments, two final tables. That's fucking crazy. Now I'm knocking guys out again, and pretty soon it's me and one other guy. But it's like 2.40 in the morning. We're both exhausted, so we just split the money and fell asleep right there in each other's arms. Now I'm back in New York City, and I get invited to another charity poker tournament by the same guy that invited me to the first one. I think he likes me. This time it's for Alexei Kovalev's charity, Kovalev and Friends Foundation. It's a camp for kids with heart conditions. He had one when he was a kid. That's how these things get done. Look that one up too. Be charitable. There's about 80 players at this one. I'm playing well again and boom, guess what? Final table. Three straight tournaments, three final tables. Even if you're a pro, you know. That's insane. I get down to heads up play. Me and one other guy, but now we play it out and guess who wins? Me. The prize wasn't exactly a seat to the World Series of Poker, but as we all know, I already have one of those. But I did win this cool jersey. It's from Alex Kovalev. It even says Kovalev on the back. He said, think it does. Might say kick me. I'll find out soon enough. So July 7th, I'm saddling up for day one at the World Series of Poker. So can I actually win this thing? Why not? It's poker. Even a nine deuce has a chance against aces. Let me put it this way. Anything can happen.